hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever I'm finding you in the world. Welcome to the Feminine CEO Podcast. My name is Lorraine Purcell and I'm your host every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. This is where we discuss all things uh, that we need to overcome so that we can be empowered highly sensitive people, what I like to call ultra sensitives, rather than it seeming like a burden. We're actually the ones that are here to feel the planet and then move with that and make a change. So we're actually ultimately the most powerful, even though we don't feel the most powerful. And uh, that is what sets us apart. We're not callous, we are feeling everything that's going on around us so that we can move and transmute the energy. We're highly creative. We're, um, so we're always thinking of things to create and things to do and uh, to get our message, the thing in our heart, to get it out. And yet we don't feel confident enough to do that. So I would love to know if you're feeling this, if this resonates with you. And so uh, I have these podcasts every Monday and Friday so that I can offer encouragement and strength to what I call Earth Angels, <laughs> the Earth Angel Nation. So, I mean, we're, we're like, we're here for a reason. We're here for such a big reason, uh, especially us. Everybody's here for a reason, but especially us. We're here for a super big reason as the sensitives of the planet who feel everything and then transmute that energy. I've been talking, hi, good morning, Sean. I've been talking a lot about transmuting the energy and what that means, um, how we can just change so much just by lifting one person up. So we are the uplifters of the planet. And today is the Fairy Godmother Monday version of the Feminine CEO podcast. And I'm here with my crystal ball and my magic wand to show you how to make your dream, that thing that burns inside of you, a reality. How to use the quantum field for you rather than against you by default, which kind of brings me to the theme for June. We're starting a new month. Last month, we talked about healing trauma slowly. Uh, just a little bit about my background. I'm 30 years, three decades, almost three decades, let's see. Uh, let's see, I think I'm one year short of three decades. Yeah, 1995. I started practicing June of 1995. So I'm almost three decades. <laughs> we can say several decades for sure um, uh, as a counselor and as a certified life coach. So um, I've got some experience with this, but I think the most important experience is the experience that I've had in transforming my own life. And so then I used those techniques when I found out things that worked for me as a, you know, chronically depressed, um, sad, unconfident, low self-esteem, how to help my clients with the same thing. So I use the techniques that I developed for myself that I have borrowed, have developed personally, things that have been divine downloads for me personally and um, gone on to share that with my clients with great success all over the planet. So um, yeah, that's me in a nutshell. And I do these on Mondays and Fridays because I want us to bookend the week. Start the week empowered. See, I guess that would be is this one. Start the week empowered. Know where you're going, know your vision. This is the time for us to get into alignment together. And then on Friday, we come back into our 50 trillion cells and we, um, check in with our body. What does our body need from us to restore and regenerate? Because I work with a lot of women who are ill, who have chronic problems that hold them back and slow them down and bring them into fear and bring their energy down. And that's not what we need. We need empowered earth angels. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee here. Oh, that tastes so good. So that's what I'm all about. <laughs> everything I do, everything I talk about, everything in my world is about empowering you. 
For more of my work, I invite you to go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered. L-O-R-R-A-I-N-E-P as in Paul, U-R-S as in Sam, E-L-L dot com forward slash E-M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D. And I have an amazing gift there for you which is my 30-day empowerment guide. If you download this and you practice it for 30 days, your your life will be unrecognizable. It's got my five most powerful affirmations in a printable, beautiful color PDF that you can put all over your house to remind yourself of your greatness. And then a five-minute visualization that if you listen every morning and every night, you'll just be done. <laughs> and then, of course, keep it up. But uh, And that is no cause to you at LorrainePurcell.com forward slash empowered. So we start by breathing. By the way, sometimes I am entertaining, but I'm not an entertainer. You are only going to be aligning with your energy here. I offer these as energy alignments for you. This is, you will get out of it what you participate in with it so I'm not here to entertain you like I said sometimes I'm entertaining sometimes profound things come through from source um, but this is your time to get aligned with yourself because if we start moving out in our own energy that's about the extent of what we'll get <laughs> and I personally am not that interested in that I want to see what happens with me when I'm aligned with source. And that's the feminine CEO, by the way. Feminine CEO is the woman who pretty much doesn't make a move until she's aligned with source. We want to leverage the universe. We are all practitioners of the fifth dimension here, which means it's beyond the third dimension. You know, that magical stuff we used to wish you could teleport and do all these kinds of cool things while it's here now. It's actually happening. And um, for those who believe, those who don't, they don't, and that's okay. And um, yeah, so we're going to start by breathing in some energy from oh, source in from the top of our head all the way down in our body in a counterclockwise spin of white gold and pink light all the way down 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 and just see it cleaning and purifying and soaking up everything that isn't aligned and serving you all the way down and then deposit anything that's extra down into mother earth and let's just breathe in and ask Mother Earth, what is her, what does she require of us today? What would she like from us? What kind of energy would she like us to embody to, um, you know, help ourselves and to benefit the planet? Because whatever energy we embody, we contribute to the planet. Since we are 99.9999% energy and only 0.00001% matter. Did I get that right? It's four numbers past the decimal is the, the amount of matter that we have in us. <laughs> it's not much at all. So since we're pure energy, I'm just going to call it pure energy. Since we're pure energy, what would you like to create? How would you like to be? How would you like your life to be? It's so, it's so exciting to me. I can't contain it. It is so exciting to me that I just cannot contain it that we can transform when we think we are who we are and that we're stuck with who we are and to know that we can transform. Oh my God. It's just crazy to me. Mind blowing. Mm.
and this is the love of my life. <laughs> my clients are the love of my life. God is the love of my life. It's all I'm about. So as we come back up to the bottoms of our feet, we're going to go into the quantum field together. Now the quantum field, you can go into big, long song and dance. You may need to because you're so entrenched in your present reality that you need to go into a long song and dance. That's okay. But I like to shortcut everything <clears throat> uh, as much as I can. Some things can't be. But um, the quantum field is always happening with us. It's always been in existence. We just only discovered it 20, 100 years ago in the 1920s. And it is this. There are waves of every single possibility in the entire universe. It's here now. Every single possibility already exists. It just depends on which one are we going to tap into and put energy into. As soon as we focus on something, it turns from wave of all possibilities into particle. So what I tell my clients and what I work on with myself is where do we want to focus? Do we want to focus on how we've been wronged, on how that person said this bad thing about us, how this person doesn't like us and we wish they did, or do we wanna focus on all the beauty and wonder in our life and expanding into falling in love with our dream, falling literally in love with our dream. Everyone who is watching this live stream, by the way, if you're watching the replay, if you're here live, tell me you're here. If you're on the replay, tell me replay and play along with the prompts so that you get the most out of your time here. Um, our dream, our dream. I live for my dream. If I didn't have my dream, <clears throat> I probably would be just like everyone else, most everybody else that just buys into disease and aging and all that kind of stuff. I have a whole other paradigm around all of that of youthing and lifting the burdens off of our body so that it can heal. This is so brilliant. And it's how I've operated my life. And when I go off, I come back. It's been an ongoing love affair with my dream. What is your dream? That thing that you see yourself as it, you saw yourself as it when you were a little girl in some version, and it lights you up. This is the meaning of life. This is the meaning of life. And we have to be very, I, I think it's the most important thing in life is to guard that dream and take care of that dream and nurture that, that dream and blow on it like an ember to keep it alive. That dream, that possibility, that vision that you have of yourself, that vision that you've seen of yourself in all of your greatness and all of your glory, that is the meaning of life. So on Fairy Godmother Monday, the Fairy Godmother Monday version of the Feminine CEO podcast, we tap back into our dream and we own we own that dream. We own that dream and we step into it as if we're in the middle of it doing it. See, the, the universe, God, <clears throat> um, we may need to ask once just to, just to know for ourselves that we answered it, that we asked it, but God already knows. <laughs> God already knows. We don't really even have to have, have to, um, spend time asking and what we do as humans because it's what we've innocently been taught is that we have to beg and plead no <laughs> um we are on a faith planet <clears throat> and we walk by faith and not by sight or by feeling so when the thing that we desire isn't there we um 
have to believe and thank God for it. Be in a state of thankfulness. So be in your dream as we do this exercise. Be in your dream and oh, just feel it. Feel yourself in the middle of it doing it. It is your fairy godmother as you do this. That dream, actually, we approach the dream. The dream's already there. We get closer to it, and we practice the feeling because if we didn't practice the feeling, when it showed up, we would reject it because we didn't feel prepared enough, honestly. <laughs> That's what happens. That's why we spend time preparing in the quantum field. So you're going to be doing mental rehearsal on this dream so just feel your dream oh my god it's like as soon as i went there i got butterflies <laughs> it's like that it's like a love affair this dream that you've had of your life since you were a little bitty thing is it and this is what guides you and if you want to write your dream in the comments you by all means can just go there, feel it, feel it as if you are in the middle of it doing it. <laughs> oh, feels so good now as you spend time here. This is what universe is saying. Oh, you must want more of that. And so it starts to bring circumstances and events that will mirror that and get you closer to that. That's how it works. So... I challenge you to have the courage and be brave enough to dream again. Have the courage to be bold enough to dream again and feel it as if you are now doing it. We are in the quantum field all the time. We are in, especially when you dissolve into your dream, you are nobody, nowhere, no place, no time. And you're just in the feeling that you would have as you are doing it. And this is the magic. Just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. I say yes to me. Now your dream, I encourage you not to share it with anybody. <laughs> you can share it here and you can share it in my, my Facebook communities. You can share it with me over email. You can share it with me over um, Messenger. I don't recommend sharing it with family and friends. You might have one friend who wouldn't say, oh, be careful, <laughs> watch out. I encourage you to keep it to yourself and bring it here on Mondays and Fridays where it's safe. Because if you share it, there are a lot of dream stealers because they innocently just don't know any better. <laughs> they honestly just don't know any better. But that's not your job to rescue them or try to convince them of anything. So just feel your dream. Oh, as if you're in the middle of it doing it. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. It feels, it's like ecstasy. It is so, 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 so blissful being in the middle of your dream, feeling it as if you're in the middle of it doing it. And when we're here, we can just let everything else just melt away. All the worries, all the cares, all the concerns. As your fairy godmother, I am giving you permission to let it all go and just bask in your dream and spend the whole day as if you are that person, as if that dream has come true and you are it now. And it just feels so so, so good. Just feel that good feeling. Feel the bliss and let yourself go there.
This is the mindset that we need for our business success and our life success. To embrace the gift that we've been given by our dream. Our dream is our blueprint of our life. Our dream is our blueprint of our life. Our dream that you got when you were a little girl and now that you're an adult and now you're in your own business and now that you're a career woman and now that you're a family woman, your dream is still here. You can still have that dream while you are practicing in your business. So the mindset, the title of this podcast today is the mindsets that we need to adopt for our business and life success. And all of the things that your ego might say, you're a failure because this didn't happen. You're a failure because you tried this and it didn't work. You're a failure because you put yourself out there and it didn't stick. Is all your blueprint. It has guided you every step along the way. Not one movement was wasted. Everything, every move you've made, every, every step you've taken has been divinely mapped out and used for the highest good. And everything is working out for you. So just feel your success now, feel your success, feel your dream as your blueprint right now. Just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Relax into it. Relax into it, feel it, own it, own it, own it. You are good enough. So for June, I may be talking about the mindsets we need to adopt. I asked the question in my community about what are the things they're experiencing now, things you're experiencing now that um, are the most unwanted. And I may sculpt around those answers that I received and you can still contribute your answer. Uh, to that question, what is the most unwanted situation in your life right now? Uh, the mindsets that we need to have to overcome our habitual human tendency to be in lack and limitation. And how can we overcome to the point where those things are working for us and not against us? So if you would still like to let me know what your most unwanted situation is, I'll see it in these comments below or wherever you're seeing this, um, this podcast. Oh. Let's draw a card. Remember for more of my work, to stay more connected, go to lorrainepurcell.com forward slash empowered. lorrainepurcell.com forward slash empowered. And that link is somewhere posted with this, wherever you're seeing this. My invitation is to put this on your calendar as your recurring event every Monday and Friday that you show up as the feminine CEO of your life and get aligned Get aligned with your purpose. And what is your intention of the week? What does Mother Earth require of you today? I can't write any comments anymore. <laughs> so I'm kind of unable to, to say. All right, anyway. But Mother Earth requires of me today to be my future self. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. That's going to be so fun. So you might write it down. Uh, I think I'm going to do that right now. Mother Earth is requiring me that I am my future self this week. Mother Earth's initials are M-E if you want to put that in the comments. Mother Earth, be my future self. 
leaned back. Peace. Calm. <sighs> Success. And just feel your power. Just feel your power. Okay, so where did the cards go? We've been drawing the Courageous Peony over and over and over again. So put this on your calendar as a recurring event is my invitation so that you can stay connected to the energy. I'm going to say your energy. You can stay connected to your beautiful energy as a daughter of God, as a powerful daughter of God. <sighs> Start the week with your intention with your, your, your pointed to true north. And then on Friday, we come back in and check in with our body, what our body needs to restore and regenerate. Let's see which card I drew. Mm, a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Keep holding your vision. A new earth. Don't give up now. You're closer than you think. I know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith. This is your sign that you're facing the right direction. You have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they exist. Tend the new seeds, dream them into existence. Don't lose faith now. Keep your focus fixed. Ah, yes, that's what we do here on the Feminine CEO Podcast. Planting new seeds and bringing about a shift of the ages is no mean feat. It requires extreme trust and radical vision. If you pull this card, it's a reminder to have faith. You chose to be here, to be part of this global shift. Whether you're bringing it about through prayer and meditation or through working on a new project, job, or creation, keep going, it's happening. Don't give up now. The world needs more dreamers like you, more people with hope in their hearts. The road ahead may not be plain sailing. Ushering in a new age in times of change never is. You're being encouraged to remember that you've been working toward <laughs> To remember that what you've been working toward for so long is almost here. Don't question yourself now. Don't waver. Dig your devotion deep. For if you do, in the not too distant future, you'll be able to sit back and watch all that you've so carefully planted and nurtured grow and bloom. <clears throat> it's possible. Keep focusing on your dream. You're closer than you think. Starseed Soul Inquiry. How can you keep holding the vision? You are here for a very important reason. You are here for a very important purpose. I'm here with you every Monday and Friday to remind you of that vision and that purpose and to stay connected to your dream. For the highest good of all. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's send this energy, beautiful energy, out to the entire planet, to our eight billion brothers and sisters all over the planet. We extend our beautiful, peaceful energy to them. 
We send peace, we send calm, we send alignment with their dream, with their vision, all the way through, through every molecule, through every cell, to all the animals, to every human being, to every road, to every building, to every pane of glass, to every body of water, to every plant, to every grain of sand, to every bit of soil, we send love. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. And so it is. I love you. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you Friday, if not before. Bye for now.